everyone. In our previous modules, we learned about the characteristics of metals. However, the question that arises is, where do we obtain these metals? Are they available in the form in which they are currently being used? Look at this carefully. Have you seen such machines anywhere? Can you recall something like this from your previous classes? Perhaps you have seen some of these sites in movies? If yes, oh, what was it all about? Yes, it must have been about the location and extraction of metals and mineral reserves around the world. The earth's crust is a major source of all elements including metals. Sea water also contains salts of many metals like sodium chloride, magnesium chloride etc. Did you know that the most abundant metal on earth's crust is aluminium about 8% followed by iron about 5%, calcium about 4% and sodium about 2%. Most metals being reactive do not occur in the free state in nature. So, most of the metals are found in the form of their compound with other elements called a combined state. Only a few very less reactive metals are found in a free state. But even in this free state, there could be impurities present with the metal and hence they have to be purified or refined. The natural substances which contain metals or metal compounds are called minerals. However, every mineral is not suitable for the extraction of that metal, maybe because of the low concentration of ore or may contain impurities. The minerals from which metals can be extracted conveniently and profitably are called ores. But the ore may contain metal in the combined and impure form. Thus, the metal has to be obtained from the ore in its pure form. Generally, the various types of ore from which metals are extracted are oxide ores, sulfide ores, carbonate ores, halide ores. It is interesting to note that most of the metal ores are oxides. Can you think why? As oxygen is a very reactive element and very abundant on the earth. The process of obtaining metal from its ore is called extraction. Various steps may be required to extract the metal from the ore in its pure form. These steps taken together are called metallurgy. Always remember that no single process is used to extract metals. The process to be used varies from metal to metal. Three main steps involved in the extraction of metals are concentration or enrichment of ores, conversion of concentrated ore to metal, refining or purification of impure metal. Ore is an impure compound and contains a large amount of unwanted impurities like sand, rocky material, earthy particles, limestone, mica, etc. called GAN. The methods used for removing GAN particles depend depend on the differences between the physical and chemical properties of the ore and GAN. Very heavy metal ores may be concentrated by hydraulic washing by which the lighter GAN particles are removed. Magnetic ores may be separated from the non-magnetic GAN particles by the magnetic separation technique. Sulfide ores are generally concentrated by the froth flotation process. After the concentration of ore, the next step is the conversion of concentrated ore into metals. This is essentially a process of reduction. The method of reduction is to be used depends upon the reactivity of the metals to be extracted. On the basis of reactivities, we can group the metals into three different reactivity categories. 
metals of low reactivity, metals of medium reactivity, metals of high reactivity. In the next module, we shall learn how do we extract metals from ores. Let us now recapitulate what we have learned in this module. The earth's crust is a major source of all elements including metals. Most metals being reactive do not occur in a free state in nature. Very unreactive metals like gold and silver are found in a free state. Even in this free state, there could be impurities present with the metal. The natural substances which contain metals or metal compounds are called minerals. The minerals from which metals can be extracted conveniently and profitably are called ores. The process of obtaining metals from its ore is called extraction. The unwanted impurities in a metal ore are generally called GAN. The metals may be grouped in three different categories. Metals of low reactivity, metals of medium reactivity, metals of high reactivity. The process of extracting a metal from its ore includes concentration or enrichment of ores, conversion of concentrated ore to metal, refining or purification of impure metal. The processes used for removing the GAN from the ore are based on the differences between the physical or chemical properties of the GAN and the ore.